When people think of the tropics, they normally think of blue skies and palm trees and beaches. In fact, it's very popular right now to give prompts to AI and see what it comes up with. So I gave the word tropics and here's what it thought it was. So it might not look like it, but I'm currently in the tropics. I've traveled to the outback in Northern Territory, to the Tropic of Capricorn, to explain what this imaginary line is all about. There are five major lines of latitude on the globe. Some quick facts about it. The Earth rotates around an axis that goes through the North and South Pole, and from there, the equator is a line of latitude that cuts it in half, splitting the Earth into the Northern and Southern Hemisphere. And then the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. Now there are two polar circles, the Arctic and the Antarctic circles, and their definition actually depends on the sun. Due to the fact the Earth's on a bit of an angle compared to its orbit, it means that throughout the year we get seasons, also the length of the days will change. At the equator, each day will be 12 hours of sun and 12 hours of night, but as you get further away, it gets more extreme, until you get places where the sun never sets. The polar circles are defined as the place where the sun doesn't set on the longest day of the year. Basically, all places in this area will have some time of year where the sun never sets. Now the tropics are also defined by the sun. Places that are close to the equator experience the sun being perfectly overhead at noon at some time of the year. In Hawaii, this phenomenon is known as Lahaina Noon, and it can look really surreal to see things not casting a shadow in any direction. It kind of makes them look like fake CGI renders. So the Tropic of Capricorn is defined as the southernmost circle of latitude where the sun can be seen directly overhead. And I'll come back to what that has to do with this sea goat. The tropics are due to the axial tilt of the world, and this is around 23.436 degrees, both north and south of the equator. The tropics are everything between these two lines, and that includes this desert. The Australian outback north of this point is known as a tropical desert, and there are other deserts within this line around the world, and that includes the Sahara, the Arabian Desert, and the Mojave. The Tropic of Capricorn is known as an imaginary line, something which has an abstract definition that doesn't really exist in the physical world. That includes things like the equator, the lines of the tropics, but also time zones, the international date line, and even some borders. But people like categorizing things and putting them in boxes and labels. That's why we create things like the tropic and the arctic. Now, people also like making these imaginary lines a bit more real. And that's what's happened here. This is on the Stewart Highway, and this is the Tropic of Capricorn marker. Now, this is a place that's also become a truck stop, a place you can pull in, take a rest, and use the toilets. There are other ones of these monuments around the world. There's one in Namibia, one in Madagascar, and one in Chile. But it turns out that this monument and all these other ones around the world are actually in the wrong place. Well, kind of. The Earth still varies, and it's on a 40,000 year cycle, and that angle can change between 22.1 and 24 and a half degrees. So that means that the line of the Tropic of Capricorn is currently moving, and it's moving north at around 15 meters per year. So this is always gonna be a little bit off, unless of course you wanna move the marker all the time. So what's that got to do with a sea goat? Well, the Tropic of Capricorn was named around 2,000 years ago. And back then, the sun was in the constellation Capricorn during the December solstice. But this also changes over time. And that's not the case today. In fact, the December solstice, the sun is in Sagittarius. So I think there's a case for naming this the Tropic of Sagittarius. I'm gonna go explore the desert. So from the tropical desert of Central Australia, I'm Julian O'Shea. There is car noise, which is annoying. Um, wind noise. <laughs> And the sun is in a terrible spot, but other than that, I think we're good.